Statistics tell us that approximately 40% of people over the age of 40 snore, and half of them snore every night. In most cases, snoring is nothing more than an inconvenience. But for some people, men and women, it may be a symptom of a serious condition known as obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA. During sleep, the upper airway narrows and causes OSA patients to temporarily stop breathing. This pause in breathing is referred to as an apneic event, or apnea. When one occurs, an impulse is sent through the brain that wakes the patient just enough to restart the breathing process. This cycle repeats itself many times during the night, often without the patient being aware that he or she has stopped breathing. In severe cases, the apnea is made to last for as long as 90 seconds and may occur hundreds of times a night. The result is a lack of sleep or poor quality sleep and a number of health-related problems. OSA is a serious problem. Patients who suffer from it have a higher risk for high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, impotence, and thinking and memory problems. OSA also can cause excessive daytime sleepiness, performance changes at work or school, marital and social problems, and an increased risk of accidents or injuries. An estimated 35 million Americans have sleep-related breathing problems. Common symptoms include daytime drowsiness, snoring with pauses in breathing often observed by a bed partner, gasping or choking during sleep, restless sleep, problem with mental functions, poor judgment or lack of focus, memory loss, being quick to anger, high blood pressure, nighttime chest pain, depression, morning headaches, reduced libido or impotence, and frequent trips to the bathroom at night. If you have two or more of these symptoms, or if someone has mentioned your loud snoring and noticed that you often wake up abruptly gasping for air, see your physician. If your doctor suspects OSA, you may be referred to a sleep clinic for a special overnight test that monitors your nighttime sleep patterns and gathers data about each apnea event and other problems that disturb your sleep. Depending on the severity of your condition, treatments may include behavior modification or simple lifestyle changes, such as weight loss or change of sleeping position, oral appliances that bring the jaw forward during sleep to keep your airway open, or CPAP or BiPAP devices that use positive air pressure to keep the airway open during sleep, or surgery. If devices or oral appliances are ineffective, surgical treatments may be indicated. Your oral and maxillofacial surgeon will work closely with your sleep medicine physician to determine the best treatment for you. Maxillomandibular advancement, or MMA, has been shown to be a very effective procedure for patients with moderate to severe OSA. By surgically repositioning your upper and lower jaws, your oral and maxillofacial surgeon can open the airway and alter the position of the tongue in soft tissues. As a result, sleep is improved. Obstructive sleep apnea is a serious condition, but it is treatable. Your OMS is ready to help as an integral part of a professional team that treats sleep-related breathing disorders.